Yeah, this program is going to remove an, an element out of an array or delete, you can see it as delete uh, something out of your array. So let's say uh, I enter the value 2 in my spin edit, I click on remove, it's going to remove Nathan out of the array and it's going to move, move Mark and the rest of the people up in your array. Okay, so here I declared my array, 10 size 10, the name's in, I amount is set to 10, and when I click on the button, and I selected the value 2 in the spin edit, it's going to go from 2 to the amount, which will be 10 minus 1, which will be 9. Okay, so it's going to run from 2 to 9. You don't want to run to the last one, the 10th one, because then you can't compare it to the next one, because there's ne not the number 11. So it's going to say, I at the moment is number 2. So 2 plus 1 is mark. So it's number 3 is mark. And mark is going to be moved up into the position of where Nathan were. So then it will show Regan, then mark, and then mark. Then this loop is going to repeat again, it's going to take Rory and move Rory up into Mark's position. So it's going to read Regan, Mark, Rory. It's going to move everybody up by one, except when it comes to Jill, he said minus one. So he's not going to take the next one and try and put it into Jill because there won't be a next one. There's not a number 11. And then if you're done with the array, or the loop then we're going to remove the last element because the last one will be empty now because we removed one and we are going to decrease the amount of names that will be in our array so it's just a i amount minus one and then i call the procedure form create which is clearing the reach edit and just loading the new increase into the reach edit <coughs> 